over centuries, the Japanese side of the tectonic fault line had been compressed and dragged downwards by the Pacific plate driving beneath it. The whole upper plate behaves just basically like a rubber block. It just compresses and like a spring like this. And when the earthquake happens, it springs back. The sudden upward flip of such a huge slab of rock lifted a six kilometer deep mass of water upwards to the surface of the sea. As it collapsed back, immense waves raced out across the ocean. Not like normal sea waves, more like shock waves from an explosion. Just a meter high, but over a hundred kilometers from front to back and traveling at terrifying speed.